morning students now i am going to continue the chapter manufacturing industries now today i will explain you about mineral based industries now what is mineral based industries those industries which use minerals as raw material fall under this category iron and steel aluminium smelting petrochemical cement and fertilizer industries are the examples of mineral based industries now iron and steel industries india is the ninth largest steel producing country in the world the iron and steel industry is termed as the basic or key industry as all other industries that is heavy medium and light are dependent on it for their machinery steel is required to manufacture a wide variety of engineering goods construction materials scientific medical transport and defense equipments as well as a number of consumer goods production and induct and consumption of steel is considered as the index of a country's development iron and steel plant requires heavy raw materials like iron ore coking coal limestone and manganese ore it is therefore located near the raw materials finished products are too heavy it calls for an efficient transport system for movement of goods on integrated iron and steel plants are located in the mineral rich northeastern peninsula and in its southern part an integrated plant is one where all the processes are carried out in one complex for handling of raw material coke making steel making rolling to shaping of the steels beside the integrated plants there are about 200 mini steel plants which are decentralized secondary units these plants are smaller they use steel scrap and sponge iron and have electric furnaces they have reel rollers that use steel in gods as well mild and alloy steel of given specification is produced in these mini steel plants the steel authority of the india limited takes care of marketing of steel of all public sector undertakings while tata steel is marketed through tesco india and china produce the same quantity of steel in 1950s today china is not only the largest producer but also the world's largest consumer of steel india is an important iron and steel producing country in the world our performance is not up to the mark due to irregular power supply poor infrastructure limited availability of coking coal 
along with its high cost, lower productivity of labor. The production of steel is sufficient to meet the domestic demands. Good quality of steel is also imported from other countries. Liberalization and foreign direct investment have given a push to this industry with the efforts of the private industries. Resources are needed for research and development to produce steel. Now next, aluminium smelting. It is the second important metal industry because there is a great demand of aluminium in a large number of industries. It is treated as a good substitute for steel, copper, zinc and lead. It is widely used as it is resistance to corrosion, light, a good conductor of heat, malleable and becomes strong when it is mixed with other metals. It is used to manufacture utensils, wires and aircrafts. The raw material that is bauxite is a very heavy dark reddish colored rock used in the smelting. The industry requires the closeness to bauxite mines and places having cheap electricity. There are eight aluminium plants located in West Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Now, chemical industries. These are the most diversified. They provide raw materials for other industries. Heavy inorganic chemicals consist of chemicals like sulfuric acid, caustic soda, soda ash, etc. Important centers for manufacturing heavy chemicals are Kolkata, Mumbai, Kanpur, Delhi, Amritsar, Chennai and Bangalore. Fine organic chemicals consist of drugs, pharmaceuticals, products, dyes and insecticides. While the inorganic chemical industries are widely spread. The organic chemical industries are located near oil refineries and petrochemical plants. When crude oil is refined, many kinds of byproducts are used in petrochemical industries. They provide products that are substituting the raw materials like wood, glass and metals. Production of pesticides has contributed much to agriculture by controlling harmful insects and weeds. The products include plastic, synthetic fibers, synthetic rubbers, etc. India leads developing countries in the production of pharmaceuticals. Now, fertilizer industry. After green revolution, fertilizers have 
become a key input in Indian agriculture because of heavy availability of natural gas the fertilizer industry is widely spread there are at present 57 fertilizer units manufacturing nitrogenous and complex fertilizers 29 for urea and 9 for producing ammonium sulfate as the byproduct and 68 small units produce single superphosphate. The government is supplying fertilizers to farmers at heavily subsidized rate. India today is the third largest producer of nitrogenous fertilizer in the world. Important centers of fertilizers factories are Gorakhpur, Kanpur and Varanasi. Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Assam and Delhi. Now next, cement industries. Cement is the most important for building roads, bridges, dams and even living houses. Limestone, silica, aluminium and gypsum are the heavy raw materials required for production of cement. Beside this, coal and electric power are needed along with the rail transportation. The first plant was set up in 1904. The industry developed mainly after India became independent. Today we have 128 large and over 322 mini cement plants in the country. India produces good quality of cement which has a ready market in South and East Asia. Next, Automobile Industry Automobiles are important because they provide quick means of transport for people and various goods. There are various centers where multi-utility vehicles are manufactured in India. There has been an increasing demand for vehicles in the market with the coming in of the new and modern models which is made in the industry. New technology was brought in the direct foreign investment which brought the industry at par with global development. As of today, there are 14 manufacturers of 2 and 3 vehicles. 15 of the passengers car and multi-utility vehicles and 9 of commercial vehicles. The industry is located around Bangalore, Hyderabad, Jamshedpur, Kolkata, Indore, Chennai. Then information technology and electronic industry that is IT sector. It covers a wide range of production products ranging from transistor to telephone, cellular telecoms to computers. The industry has spread to wide that it fulfills the needs of railways, airways, space flights, meteorological departments and different organization. These have
stabilized the life of the masses and changed quality of human life it has transformed the country's economy the country has earned a great reputation in the development of software bangalore has become the electronic capital of india major electronic goods producing centers are bangalore delhi mumbai kolkata hyderabad and pune centers providing single window services and high data communication facility to the software experts called software technology parks have been set up at 18 centers in the country one of the most significant impact of it industry has been the employment generation as per the data up to march 2005 this industry had employed over 1 million people this number is expected to increase in the coming years 30% of the total people employed in the sector something very encouraging that is 30% of the total employed of this sector are women due to its fast growing bpo sector the industry has been a major foreign exchange earner in the last 2 3 years the it industry has been very successful in india due to the continuous growth of hardware and software